A couple of days ago, um, I woke up and grabbed my phone and went on Instagram and I saw the image that you're looking at right now. My initial thought was that this is either fake or fan made. I was in complete shock for multiple reasons. Number one being because there is actual Christmas themed items in this advent calendar. And number two, we have exclusive minifigures. If you're an OG fan of me or you've been following me for, you know, a couple years now, you know I have very strong opinions when it comes to LEGO Star Wars advent calendars. And this one, this Compared one makes Compared to the 2017 it. and 2018 LEGO Star Wars advent calendars, this one is tremendously better, and I can honestly say it is worth the $40 price range. For the first time in years, I can genuinely say that I'm actually looking forward to this year's advent calendar. I am absolutely astounded whenever it comes to the effort that was put into this advent calendar, whether it's the mini builds or the mini figures, everything in this is just so amazing and worth the money. The mini builds that we get in this year's advent calendar is original and just a lot of it is stuff that we've never gotten before and they're just really good mini builds that I'm genuinely looking forward to getting. So without further ado, here is an up close look at every single mini build that we get in this year's advent calendar. These images were presented by Mini Lego Star Wars on Instagram, so without further ado, enjoy. In this advent calendar, we get a total of eight minifigures, these being an Imperial Gunner, a new variation of Octo Island Luke, which we I personally have been looking forward to. Um, we get a Cloud Car Pilot, a Rebel Fleet Trooper, a First Order Stormtrooper in the new variant, um, a um, Chewbacca minifigure, a Santa Porg, which is just amazing, and a Battle Droid, which... To be honest, I'm kind of mad that we got a battle droid because we've gotten them in so many advent calendars before, but you know what, it could have been worse. In conclusion, this year's advent calendar is the best one in four years, easily. This thing has so many things that are just worth paying $40 to get, in my opinion. However, I would like to know your guys' opinion. Do you think it's worth the money? Do you not think it's worth the money? Tell me in the comments below. I always love to hear people's opinions on LEGO Star Wars sets. So yeah, guys, thank you for watching. Do not forget to hit the like and subscribe button, and I will see you guys in the next video.